So are you ready to learn the four biggest lessons that I have learned since I've been growing my business? Well, I want you to stick around because I'm gonna be giving you those lessons and tips on how you can learn from my mistakes in today's video. My name is Simone Redman. I'm a YouTube marketing strategist and I teach women entrepreneurs how to utilize this platform here on YouTube to really grow their business to exponential levels and really get the clients leads and sales that they truly wanted in their business, right? So today's video is really about my biggest lessons on having a business and growing it and really understanding what the heck I'm doing with my business. So. I have been in business for about, I want to say maybe five years now, and I have learned a lot of lessons on the way. And of course, my business is still kind of small right now at this moment, but of course, even when you're small, there are lots of learning lessons and lots of mistakes that you're going to make, and you just really understand more about how to be an entrepreneur, how to be the best entrepreneur, and how to really have an online business. The first lesson that I've learned since growing a business is that you just have to do just one thing. And what is that one thing? Well, that one thing is that you stick with one thing. So when I started with business, I used to be all over the place, okay? And you can ask like some of my coaches, they, they would know this. I was all over the place. I was doing affiliate marketing, I was doing network marketing, I was doing YouTube, I was doing coaching, um, you know, mm, can't remember what else I wanted to do. Oh, I wanted to have a clothing line too. Uh, <laughs> um, I can't remember what else that I wanted to do, but I was all over the place, right? And so inside of this affiliate marketing company, they just have like all this, you know, different types of trainings and all this good stuff. And I was like, man, this would be this would be really good. Like I wanted to have a membership site. I was like, okay, I'm gonna create a membership site, um, you know. And what I had to learn is that in order for people to really follow you for the information that you can give, you have to stick with one thing. So even though I was creating YouTube videos before all of this happened, all of this crazy jumbleness of, oh my gosh, I just wanna be everywhere so everybody can see me, I had to learn how to just simply focus on YouTube, okay? So I learned how to do that. I said, okay, well, it took me years. It took me about two to three years to really learn this concept. And I was like, okay, well, I mean, I've been doing YouTube. I guess YouTube is my, is my bae, right? I, YouTube is baby, right? So I had to learn how to really start using YouTube as a way to grow my business. Um, I had to utilize and learn how to use YouTube to really push myself out so that people can see my content um, and really truly focus on YouTube. And now that I've focused on YouTube, things are starting to open up because people see me as the person who does YouTube videos, the girl who does YouTube. Oh, you know, if I need to know about YouTube, then I talk to her. Um, so it's been a life-changing experience. It's been a learning experience too. So if you are one of those type of business entrepreneurs or marketers or things like that, you want to focus on one thing, whether it's going to be Facebook marketing, social media, I mean, uh, Instagram marketing, LinkedIn, Twitter, um, affiliate marketing, you know, e-commerce, like you have to just focus on one thing. And that one thing is going to lead to different more opportunities for you. And it's going to open up everything. So the more that you are just like, okay, this is what I need to do. This is what I need to do. Okay. So that's, that's one of the biggest lessons that I've learned. The second thing, and this took me a long time to really understand this process. Everybody is not going to buy everything from you or anything from you for that matter. So I could sell stuff and I'll be like, okay, well, I got the $7 ebook here. Purchase it. You need to purchase it. You really need to purchase it, right? And I will be so consumed with people watching, I mean, not watching, purchasing my stuff. Because at the time, I was like truly desperate for money. And it's like, I've learned that when you're desperate for money in business, I won't say it's a bad thing, but it's not a good thing either because you're simply focusing on the money. You're not focusing on giving value to people. You're not focusing on talking to people and building those relationships and things like that. You are not focused on the building aspect of your business. You're just like money, 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 money. 
right? That's all we're thinking about. Money, 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 money. And I was always like, oh my God, like these people will just not buy. They won't buy anything. They will not buy anything. And it just really disappoint me because I needed the money at the time and I was like gosh I don't know what is going on so it took me a while it took me like an entire eight-month coaching program to really understand that even though yes you want to focus on money in your business because of course we cannot our business can't survive unless we have the money we have to learn how to change our mindset to giving more value giving people value giving them good tips and tricks and things like that we have to focus on giving them something that's gonna really really make a change and an impact with you and them because you're giving them a connection so the more value that you give the more they're gonna reel into what it is that you're teaching or talking about and then they'll buy from you so that's something that I had to learn is that I have to be valuable I have to give value in order for me to see the money. The money is still focused in here. It's still in my brain. I'm still thinking about it every single day, every single time. But when I think about the money, it's like, well, what type of value can I give in order to get that money or to give the money? That is what is important. So you want to make sure that you're not just simply focusing on the money, but you want to make sure that you're focusing on giving good value to your audience so that the money will start to roll in. Another lesson that I've learned, number three, is that you definitely need to just choose a platform to start off first and then venture out. So just like I talked about before, you know, I was trying to learn everything about every single social media platform. Even if it was new, Snapchat, Periscope, Twitter, uh, Google Plus at the time, uh, LinkedIn, Instagram, you know, Facebook, maybe Facebook again, I don't know. Um, but I used to sit there and think like, man, I need to be everywhere and I need to be omnipresent so that people can follow me, people can purchase my my stuff, you know, all of my good stuff, all, all of that good stuff, right? So that was my focus. I was like, I just need to be focusing on every single social media platform that there is. So um, I used to like really easily get distracted. So if you gave me a Facebook training, oh, I need that, I need that, bring it, bring it. Um, you know, somebody has, oh, I, I found this new strategy on Twitter to get you like 20, 30 leads. Hey, 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 give me that, give me that because I need it. I need to be focused on all these social media platforms and my coach told me, he was like, well, you know, you really just need to focus on YouTube because you're great at it. You do it very well. You just need to focus. And I was like, I just don't think that's going to work. Right. Um, so I had to learn that, like I said earlier, YouTube is bay. That's what I like to say. YouTube is bay. Um, and I just feel that with me focusing on it, it really has changed the bit, like the aspect of my business and how I do things differently and how I look at this camera and say okay well this is going on my YouTube channel to really give value to my uh, to my audience and that's it that's it so if you're one of those type of people they're just like oh my gosh I just need to learn every single social media platform master one first master one first and then decide to master something else and I know that's kind of hard, easy for me to say, but it's hard to do because you're like, man, whatever. You know, I, I really need to focus on everything, but you can't because you're going to be spending so much time just wiring, you just like spinning your wheels because you're not learning anything. So I had to learn everything about YouTube. YouTube changes so much. It's kind of like, I really don't have time to learn about something different. I don't. Um, but I do attempt to try to keep on top of whatever YouTube is doing. And then I'm like, okay, well, let's focus on Facebook ads, right? Let's do that. Let's, let's maybe talk about Instagram, you know, but you have to master it before you can really truly focus on something else. And my biggest lesson, number four, pay attention. Pay attention to what? Anything in business. It could be a Facebook ad. It could be uh, somebody that is in your niche. Pay attention to what they're doing. Pay attention to what it is that they're offering. Pay attention to their prices. Pay attention to the copy that they use. Pay freaking attention. That's all I can say, pay attention. Um, and so I was reading this book and I, I don't have it here, but I will post it in the description box below this video. It's called Copywriting Secrets by Jim Edwards or Ray Edwards I want to say Jim Edwards I don't have it um, I don't have it with me right now in my little home studio but it was one of those books and it really taught me it was like if something catches your eye pay attention to it save it 
if the copy of an ad catches your eye, save it. You know, if the image catches your eye, save it. Because these are the type of things that if it catches your eye, it's gonna catch somebody else's, um, especially in your audience. So you wanna make sure that you are really paying attention to what people do, what they say, how they say it, the pricing, things like that. Um, just the other day, I was like, okay, well, I have this program that I want to price. I just don't know how the payment structure is going to work out. Lord behold, I found something with the same payment structure. And I was just like, dang, this is it. You know, this is it. So the more that you kind of realize, like, okay, I need to pay attention, it's going to be there. The signs are going to be there to help you grow as a business person, help you grow as an entrepreneur so that you can gain the audience that you want so that people can follow you and you can start to reel that money in inside of your business and make a profit, okay? Because we're not in a business of losses. We're in a business of profits and wins. And in order for you to do that, you have to learn how to pay attention, okay? So I hope that those four biggest lessons help you, okay? And this is, of course, my first video of 2020. I'm very excited about it. Um, but I hope they help you. So if they did, just leave a comment below. Let me know which lesson of mine helped you a lot when it comes to growing your business, especially this year in 2020, right? I wanna thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it with your friends. And of course, leave that comment below because I definitely would love replying to comments and really seeing your opinions when it comes to certain things that I have been through inside of my business. So I wanna thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next week. Have a good one.